When I die, I want to go peacefully. Are you not dead? <laughs> I could have swore you were. Hey, welcome back to our stupid rex kids. I'm Corbin. I'm dead. That'll be funny. Someone, decades from now, <laughs> like a hundred years from now, is going to watch that and they're going to go, yep, you are, Rick. I do not want to be 150. Yeah, no, I don't, 104, you know my goal. Yeah. Once but I hit 104, as, you can push me off the cliff. But as long as it's a good 104. Yeah, I want a good 104. Not I don't like, want a crappy not 104. Not like you're in a wheelchair and you're just... No, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I don't want to spend 20 years like this. <laughs> Yeah. Then, you That's know. terrible. Awful. Yeah. Anyways, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're doing a movie review of the 2007 film, Chini Coon. Chini Coon. Chini Coon. Wait, what was that? How did it go? I can't remember Chini, now. Chini. It was like, Chini, Chini, Chini. It was, it was something cute. Like that. But apparently it was by Raja, sir, which I did not realize. Actually. I was. Oh, yeah, you didn't realize I that. Did, not the during the film. No, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't oh, watch. so you didn't see opening credits. I, I think I saw them, but I wasn't paying attention. Okay, to, yeah, I saw uh, the credits. I'm like, oh, it's Raja, sir. I didn't know it was Raja, sir. Anyways, but it's directed and written by R. Balki. Uh, and uh, starring... Abadab Bakjan. And Tabu. We saw the trailer for this long ago. Uh, we were very excited to see yeah, it. Yeah, we obviously. wanted to see um, it instantly. Amitak Bakshan in Tabu, and it also has a uh, par par. Mm, say his name. Uh, Parish Rawal, which who we know about uh, as well. I think we've seen him in a few things, but mm -hmm. it's. Uh, I think he's most notably he was in that new Rishi film that he's fin he's the one that's finishing it for him. Oh he's, yes, he's that's like right. Him. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, and obviously many other films like Hira, Hira Perry, which obviously is a massive film that we have not seen yet. I do know that. But anyways, this is gonna be hundred spins. Probably we came out two thousand seven. You haven't watched it. We saw it on Z five. Z5. Z5. So if you haven't watched it. If you it, haven't seen it, watch it. Go back. watch it. We come assume back. the rest of you have seen it. This is going to be spoiled. Spoiler review. Rick. So this is our 23rd of the year, our 143rd Hindi, and our 231st of all time. Last night, Indrani and I went to see the new Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum comedy, The Lost City, because the trailer made it look like a great rom-com, and we were ready for a fun night of laughs. We didn't get any. <laughs> Thankfully. India was making better rom-coms nearly 20 years ago than Hollywood's making today. Because the very next morning we got to watch Chini Kum, which Indrani's seen long ago and has always loved. A sweet, funny, often very subtly so, fun and entertaining movie that's exactly what you'd expect and hope for from Big B and Taboo. In addition, this hits home in some very personal ways that mean a lot to Indrani and I because we, like Veggie and Sexy Legs, know firsthand what it means to be judged, ridiculed, and shamed for simply having an age gap that others demand and declare to be utterly unacceptable. I love this movie. Same with me and my wife. Yeah. A year. We're a year. It's hard. It is rough. All of that. <laughs> a lot of tension. A lot of tension. Different generations. You're, you're both white. Different gen. Also, look at my shirt. Yeah, that's really good. That's very cool. Yeah, Dosties. I like it. So Dosty. Like. Anyways. Dosty. Oh, man. I got emotional the second time I saw RR. Oh, really? I did. And all of them loved it, by the way, right? They loved it. Anyways. Yeah, this film. This is an RR. If you'd like to see our review, go watch that. Yeah, go see that. Um. Anyways, I thought this was a uh, really good film. I'm so, so glad uh, Taboo and, and Big B were the leads in this. Absolutely. Because I think with the lesser actors, I don't think I would have liked the film because my biggest issues with this film are probably the whole overall filmmaking. Or it's a very dated. It's a very dated movie. Very, and I but obviously you can't hold that really. You, you know what it. else is? What? Like I used to love this movie, and I watched it with Andrani. I was like, this isn't very good. Taken. I've never seen it. In its day, it was good. It was mm -hmm. it was gritty. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember showing it to Ashley and Alexis when they were like thirteen and fifteen because it talked about the dangers of what could happen if you're not responsible and. Mm, yeah, cool. mm. Anyway, anyways, but overall, I, I'm so glad that they were at the helm of this yeah. because if you didn't have as strong of actors, which we've seen in some rom coms before, that if you don't have as strong of actors, especially with you know uh, subject matter of, uh, like this one, yeah, which I also really enjoyed that subject matter of the film as well, it could just be real bad because I think the weakest points of this are some of the writing uh, in this film in terms of making it really cheesy, dated, um, but the strongest moments of this film are them too and they're just able to be together fall in love 
end their whole story and, and it's it's really great to see to see them act together and so that that's my by far my favorite and I like I like this film but there was there was issues filmmaking wise and writing wise that I, that I had. and I, it this is one of the reasons why you get actors like Big B and Taboo and it's not just because they have notoriety it's because what helps it like I wouldn't recommend this to somebody who's never seen Big B or Tebo. Yeah, no, no. I'd want them to get to know them because once you get to know them and really love them, it adds so much to the immediacy of the likability for them Mm -hmm. at the get-go. Yeah. I mean, it would take... You could do it with unknowns, but boy, would they have a... They'd have a hard time. Uh, it, It could also... This is an evergreen movie in that you could remake this over and over again for generations. I wish they would actually remake it yeah. because I think some of the issues I had would be would be remedied in Probably. terms of like some of the cheesy writings. <laughs> I, I may have liked more of the cheese than you did yeah, in the maybe. same way I liked the school teaching classroom stuff in English uh, and English. Yeah, there, there was a lot of that in this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of that in this. Thankfully, like I said, it, when you have the strong leads, it, it, it definitely helps out. But yeah, there was some weird dated stuff that, like right at the bat, he called and he was like, hey, sexy to this <laughs> little girl. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Obviously, I understood why they I did it. I thought it was cute. I obviously, throughout the film, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I understand why they're doing it. Right. All that kind of stuff. But it, right, it was very striking right off the bat. I was like, why is this 60-year-old man <laughs> calling this little girl sexy? That's really weird. <laughs> but I actually thought she did really well. The oh, I thought girl, the little girl was great. I thought she did great. She did really good. Uh, I like that element that they I, brought into this. I love that part of the story writing, too. I loved the relationship and how they both were very much accepting of the fact of like she's like yeah I, I want to watch all these movies I want these adult movies because I need to watch at least 10 of them because if I wait any longer you know I'm uh, that that kind of just yep uh, is and their whole relationship yeah. you know calling her sexy letting her watch you see the three movies she's got laid out there she's got the exorcist the she's the pulp fiction right? pulp fiction yeah. yeah no no kill bill no kill bill kill bill by the way yeah but I agree. I like that relationship. Yeah. I also really was... I laughed out loud several times in this movie. Mm. Especially in... Right off the bat, I really enjoyed when the guy comes in and he's got the dish on his hand and he walks in. And you know the minute he walked in, you could, you, you knew from the character established by Big B that that dish shouldn't be walking back into the kitchen. And if you've worked in restaurants at all, you know that at a, a nice restaurant, food shouldn't be coming back in ever yeah ever and the i love the relationship he had with the kitchen staff and how it goes from him freaking out on them because someone had a phone to that moment when his phone rings <laughs> yes, and they funny. all go <laughs> i thought that was funny uh so let's get to uh, uh, big b and taboo yeah i really like I, I thought the introduction of of their relationship was great too with uh, her sending it back and then the next day it gets sent back again and but he's like, mm, this is great. This is obviously has everything it needs. And it's like, it's not. Yeah, it not. wasn't coming from our kitchen. <laughs> and then he opens the door, and there she, she's walking. She just turns. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah, thought that was, I agree. I thought it. that was really cute. And their whole, it's it's hard to, maybe like if, I, the only way you could get better in terms of an, an older actor is like if you get Ness Aaron and Shaw in there, uh, I guess. But it would be it would be different as well. It would, it they're, would, they're different types of actors. It would st- it would work. That's what's so great yeah. about the evergreen aspect yeah. is you can you can just put somebody and you can flip the genders. You can make it a, an older woman and a mm-hmm. younger man. You yeah. could make it interracial. You could make it same sex. It's just mm-hmm. it's this beautiful love story about people who are facing some kind of an. I, I like including the age gap. I think that's central to the relationship aspect. In a, in a, in a big age in a, gap. A big age, so age gap. 30, 30 years, right? So 30 year age gap. Yeah. yeah. My uh, my um, mother and stepfather are 10 years. Yeah, and Johnny and I are 23. Yeah. yeah. 20, uh, 10 years apart. So, yeah, that, that whole aspect of it, um, I thought, was really, really cool. Because um, you don't see it often. You don't see... You don't. Um, rom-coms... Uh, with that, usually rom coms are people around my age. That's usually right. that's usually the demographic that they they play or younger. Right. Um, usually it's not. I mean, there'll sometimes be some niche ones that have two older people and falling in love, which is great as well because you don't see that a lot. But you you hardly ever see something with a a, a pretty big age gap like that. Correct. Um, that there's a lot of stigmas around in every culture, but especially Indian culture. Oh, let me tell you. Yeah, I I love the fact that he was older than her dad. Yeah, that was really great. That's like, oh, yeah. And then Johnny and I don't have that. Yeah. And Johnny's dad, 
who had passed away when she was 15, but he was born this, this one year before my dad. So yeah. her parents are actually comparable in age to my parents. But that being said, it, that I could have had that situation as well. And that's one of my favorite things about the story is the twofold. One, the they didn't get it from all sides. Like and Johnny and I got it when we first started seeing each mm. other. I mean, y'all have no clue mm. what we both received on that end in that regard. But also, they covered some of the reality of when two people love each other. What you gen you don't pretend there isn't a gay gap, an age gap. Mm. You, you talk about it. Mm. Like I remember when in, when we were on the verge, when we realized we were falling in love with each other and, and talking about our relationship. Mm -hmm. I was presenting the, you know, the stark realities of what we would be facing potentially. Mm -hmm. And because I loved her and cared about her and I wanted to make sure you've thought this through. And she's like, I've uh, been attracted to older men all my life. I know exactly what this is. There's a reason. And she, that moment, she's always loved this. She said when this movie came out, I don't remember how old she was, but she, it was, it was when she realized, okay, I just have to accept the fact I like much older men because she would have married Big B. She told me that today. She said, I was ready to marry Big B after this movie. <laughs> I was like, go taboo. I'm with you. I do not like the, for lack of a better term, she calls them the fuck boys. <laughs> I do not like them because men don't grow up until they're older. I want a mature man. Bring on the big B. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I also love the the whole element of because you didn't see you still don't see it a lot, but the sexual attraction and the almost like <laughs> him buying the condom. How him fun wanting to, is that? Him wanting to take her into the hotel. And How fun. Was that. She wanted to see how much stamina he had. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go run and catch that tree. What? I want to see how much stamina you got. I want to make sure that I don't kill you if I take you to bed, buddy. Uh, I love that. So that that whole writing, I thought there's a lot of this film that that worked really, really well. <laughs> you know, it was one of my favorite moments mm. when they're sitting outside and he drops his napkin on her feet. He goes to pick it up and she goes, "Oh, bless you." <laughs> I thought that was great. There were so many little subtleties like that, like when they were. Uh, they were walking side by side during one of the songs and the only thing that was conveyed was hand gestures and facial expressions There were so many little subtle quirks and funny things that could easily be missed that throughout were a credit to I don't know if they were scripted or if they were improv But it was the chemistry of them and the quality of the of the storytelling and again the both I thought the uh, on the smaller roles the mom yeah. I loved his relationship yeah. with his mom and the going to the gym thing constantly getting thrown back in I told him to go to gym. Two yeah. days in, he's he's getting married. <laughs> so good, and then obviously the the relationship with with uh, with sexy. And I thought uh, pro, um, sorry, say his name. Parish Rawal. I thought he did a really good job as yeah, well. Yeah, I did too. Um, uh, in his <laughs> quirky, uh, weird role and that whole element, because that's that's a whole different side of something. Like if we obviously. I kind of figured it was coming with knowing Indian cinema. Of course. But obviously, it's not something that would happen here. No. Obviously, there would be stigmas, and there would be people like, oh, he's 30 years old, and what are you doing? Right. But obviously, the whole, I'm not giving my blessing, the whole Correct. The shame of him being older than him, your father. And, and being told, I was told this, I was flat out shamed by many people who sent me messages or had comments on videos that said, shame on you. At your age, you should be getting ready for retirement and meditation yeah it's like, well, yeah and i'm like yeah. okay if, if that if you're if you're ready to call it in at 50 years old go right ahead pal i've got another five decades ahead yeah of me. yeah um but yeah the uh so i thought that that whole element was was really good i think probably the, the biggest thing is just the fact that it was a lot of dated writing and dated it was stuff yeah i I wasn't judging it too hard yeah. i knew it was a rom-com so that's where my mind was yeah and i knew it was a early 2000s Bollywood rom-com. Right. And so I kind of expected it, but I still had some of those same elements of, uh, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. He was, uh, I think, a producer on English of English. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was... I had a contributing voice so to English of English. I think he was a, a producer. Yeah, but so, uh, just like the chemistry in the kitchen, I liked the yeah, chemistry in the classroom in English of English. I liked that more. It was more the... It, it's not really the chemistry. It was more the, the writing and the... The starkness of I yeah. didn't believe some of the the writing. I would I would say there's a and I, I don't remember but English the, English is a newer film, but it's the uh, 2012. Yeah, it's a 10 year yeah, yeah, yeah. newer film. Uh, not than not than this one. No, English of English was was came after this. Yeah, but it was only like five years. So yeah, was 2007 a, wasn't it? Seven. Yeah. So that's 
Yeah, five, five years. years. Five years. It, feel, it feels even more... English of English feels less dated. Yeah, it does. By, by far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, again, it didn't like, for example, Taken. It, Taken feels really dated, mm. comparatively. And I meant what I said. This is... And I, I am not kidding. In, but the, the quality of cinema in the past 20 years, and especially right now, I'm, I am enjoying far more. Example, saw The Batman, current release. Bored me. I, many people liked it. Bored and Johnny and I spitless. Mm. RRR. Mm. Adored, That's loved, awesome. want to see it again and again. Saw it twice. I would go back and see it again in a heartbeat. Went and saw a brand new rom-com. Humorless. Did not make me laugh. The trailer did, but the movie didn't. This is how you make a rom-com. Mm. Um, it, it's just the quality of the, of the, the acting, the storytelling, and it helps... The more and more we learn about India and Indian culture and like, wouldn't have gotten in our first or even our second year, maybe, the slight little joke of dropping the handkerchief at her face and saying, bless you. Also, like with RRR, I don't even think I mentioned this in the review, the moment where Bhim is singing his song after his flagellation, there's a lyric. I turned to Indrani when we watched it the second time, and I got emotional. I put my hand on my chest, and she was like, oh, because you know I understood. The blood is running through the ground, and lyrically, it talks about my blood is running like the vermilion, the vermilion on Mother Earth's forehead. Mm. Yeah, wouldn't have gotten that reference before, yeah. but that the power in that lyric. Uh, it just the more we learn about India, the more enjoyable yeah. everything in Indian cinema is. Yeah. Overall, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we, we kind of waited a little while, and we've seen some of Big B and some of Taboo, and we love both of. We yeah. think they're two of the, the best actors. Actors, I mean, Taboo, I think, yeah, debatably, is the best actress overall that I think we've seen. And, I, and like everything else, I turned to Indrani and I said, "If there's one word I say it over and over again, she just exudes class. Mm -hmm. What a classy lady!" And she's very effortless in her effortless. In her, That's in why her she was constantly with paired up with Irfan. Yeah. Uh, you need an effortless actress to match him, and she she did always when they were together. Which is crazy, because obviously, what was the most recent thing we've seen Taboo in? Probably Andahandahan, the most recent release. Did we see Andahandahan before? Oh, a recent release. Yes. Her most recent Her release. most recent release for us would have been Andahan. So she's probably your age, right? She, yeah, she's, I think she's a year younger than God, me. God, she looks at her like she's in her 30s. Oh, she's aging. So She's taking this, very good care of herself. She was supposed to be 34. I thought she looked... Younger, yeah, thirty four. Agreed. Now she could have played this role and been thirty four. Yeah, she I'll, could have pulled it off. Still, uh, agreed, agreed. Like, I, I actually wish they would remake. You could cast Big B and Taboo again. You could just remake it. Just do the right. You absolutely and the, could. The everything. A yeah, little, just make just it more contemporary. Make it, make it more contemporary and better. But I was thinking of other actors that that you could do. And then I don't know, but um, I, I think I think Nasser might look a little too old now. Yeah, he might be because like if you do a thirty-four to sixty, I think you but, might look a little older. You know what else would be fun to do is if you had it. I don't know if South has done this in any way, shape, or form, but if you had Kamal Hassan playing Big B's role, or if you mm -hmm. had Rajnikanth yeah, playing Big B's role, maybe Samantha, and have a Samantha, yeah, maybe Samantha, that playing. would be fun. That would be good. Maybe it has, but maybe this is a remake. I don't. I have no clue. Um, but I, I think they could do it in America as well. Absolutely, they could. That's a. It's an. I mean that. It's an evergreen story. It could be told in so many ways. And it could be told in all cultures. You can you can take this movie that's definitively Indian, but you could then take it and, and make it whatever you need it to be for whatever culture you come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this would have worked for uh, um, Romance Month as well. It I, absolutely. We almost got to it, but there was a lot of new stuff that came out in Romance Month, so I wasn't able to get to everything I wanted to, but we got to it now, and so that's good. But yeah, uh, overall, I, 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 I thought it was a really good film. I would watch it again. Me too. Um, I think it's a... a a really nice watch. Obviously, I knew like right when I knew the subject, I was like, "Rick's probably gonna yeah. really appreciate and this." And so. Andrani always loved it. So when she saw we were, she gasped when she saw we were watching it, and she went, oh, "Chini Kum, I loved." <laughs> That's good. Yep. it's better than the. Ooh, yeah, like it. There, there have been some. She's like, "You're watching what?" Okay, no, I'll go watch TV. <laughs> Anyways, well, let us know what you thought about this film. What should be the next uh, Big B? Obviously, he has a ton. Taboo, Taboo has a ton. Yeah, uh, I would love to see more from both of them. Yep. Um, and have they? How many times have they worked together? Good question. Oh, and we didn't say it at the beginning. We were. It kind of goes without saying, but I thought for, for a very contemporary, um, modern rom com, is there anything that Roger Sir can't score? 
Oh, yeah. Because the score was great. It was, it was funny when it needed to be. It was moving when it needed to be. It was out, as always. He's just, he's superlative. I never thought we'd be able to be talked to uh, our, our nun bar, A.I. Roman, but I would also like another nun bar. Absolutely. Roger, sir. I would Absolutely. love to be able to talk to him. Uh, I think that'd be, I don't know if he speaks English, obviously, at all. Right, um, but we had the same challenge with, with Nawaz. Nawaz. So we, we, it can be done. We had an interpreter with Nawaz. Yeah, and we... Pankaj, and Pankaj we, too. No. We almost had an interpreter. With almost, Pankaj. and yeah. then he said no. Right, and there were a couple times his wife was there who helped yeah, with yeah. a couple things. Yeah, but that that sh shouldn't be. A I don't know, but problem, I would still hopefully. love it. I would because yeah. obviously he's uh, equally as amazing and, and legendary as uh, Ar Rahman. Absolutely, uh, and so I would love to be able to sit down and talk with him as well because I thought that the score was really nice. Her her whole theme. Genie, yeah, genie. I, I, kept, what it, what it was, I, I kept uh, every time it came on. Most some of the times I'd get up and I'd be going, genie, good. whatever, however the melody was going. <laughs> I, I was forget, dancing I to forget it. the melody. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be the next Big B and Taboo films we should watch down below.